That's great. huge. Congrats on this movie. I was like cackling throughout. I just loved it. How was it for you guys? You're working in the bunker underneath Area 51. What was that like? I've heard that it was like you created a full bunker. It, the, I mean, that lab was functional pretty much. And you're, the military side too. It was like the difference between the two sides was really thought out by everybody as well. And it was truly one of the most extraordinary sets I've ever had the privilege of walking onto. I was blown away by the attention to detail throughout it. And also when we would cross over onto each other's sides, which I know I only did like briefly, <laughs> which I'm not sure if it ended up being in the movie, but I did get to do it once where I got to go to your bunker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was very demure compared to oh, my, very my very mind. I love that. Very, very mindful. <laughs> very mindful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. I love this. <laughs> Uh, but obviously this bunker is supposed to be like a secret under Area 51. How do you guys feel about aliens as a thing? And has this movie like changed how you think about them? Yeah, I don't, I mean, I <laughs> do have Do you think a, they could be? Like, I definitely, I'm, I'm a I believer. definitely think there are aliens. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hardcore believer. Yeah. yeah, I think there are aliens out there, you know. But um, I, I suppose where we differ perhaps <laughs> is... Um, how, just their vicinity, just how close they how are. How much to we've interacted. Yeah. I swear to God that we've got them here, and that so I just hope we're being kind to them. What would be being kind to them? What would that mean to you? Respecting them and caring about also understanding them and not just using them for what we might be able to get out of them, which is, I'm sure, what might be happening too. <laughs> oh, I hope so too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think if they if they've got here, then they probably, you know, they have the technology. We we would be the ones worried. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, do we? Do I need to let you guys figure this out? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. so Suddenly I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, guys, couldn't keep it in. <laughs> I wish. I would love that. I wish that would be so cool. Yeah. Uh, something that was cracking me up throughout was like how much of a gripe General Strickland has with Christmas, the Christmas. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I saw Christmas decorations in the shops already how early is too early for you guys personally for christmas decorations i want halloween to matter first okay oh, interesting i love that any costumes planned um i'm trying to convince my fiance to go as jason from friday the 13th and then i'm debating whether i'll be the mother who obviously was the original killer in the first movie or a fresh kill in a like you know depends how i feel mm. on the day yeah. we'll see what else. Yeah. Are, are you a halloween <laughs> halloween guy uh, yeah, yeah a little bit i mean i haven't got any you know i haven't got my outfits planned but the um it goes venom actually yeah both yeah, that that as, one, yeah. Uh, did you see that girl who was at the premiere and she had yeah. like and she'd made that costume that's amazing amazing, amazing. i'm like can, can she put it on vintage so i yeah, can like, totally buy it now. before halloween <laughs> um i love the way this is called the last dance it kind of reminds me of you know a nightclub is shutting and then everyone's like the lights are kind of Closing starting time. to come up. Closing you, time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is the ultimate song to have as the last dance? I mean, if you're talking about it in that situation, closing time is actually quite a good one. Yeah, that is quite good. <laughs> actually. You just came up with that. You were like, well, oh. you were doing closing time, right? It's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they do that, don't they? I mean, that's like, it uh, can't be. I haven't been to a club. It couldn't in a have while. just happened. Yeah, just or here, even just like see the night out. I'd say I'm, I'm going to go with that one for today. Yeah, closing time. Closing time. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's been a while for me too. Yeah. Great, <laughs> Guys, yeah. come on. We need to get back to the club. club yeah, right. <laughs> I'll play some good shoes. Yeah. So Teddy has this motto that kind of sticks with her throughout her life. I want to make sure I get it right. When the thunder roars, head indoors, which is obviously it means a lot to her. Mm. Um, are there any particular mottos that you guys kind of go back to throughout your life? I've always loved this Tom Waits quote which is it ain't no sin to take off your skin and dance around in your bones and I think for me it just means don't be afraid to kind of um fully strip yourself bare and dive into whatever you're doing I think I think there's something really special about it, especially as it, it, doing what we do I, I love I never know everything and I never want to pretend that I know everything and I always want to learn from the people around me so I want to be like all right here's my bare bones let's all do it together you know I love Good. that like the cool. osmosis of it all like mm. take up everything yeah yeah I think I was once advised to like to not to to sort of not engage in crisis management which I always thought okay. was quite good. Like Ooh, to, try, to try and take yeah. the time to deal with one thing at a time. And that I, is very and good I, advice. <laughs> I, was gonna say, and I think you remember. might need to give me a spreadsheet or something for that. Yeah. <laughs> like, that. please. Yeah. Um, something else that kind of struck me in this is like you guys, Tom, Reese, you're all British playing Americans. How is that as a dynamic on set? I think, weirdly, for me, it's quite normal. I feel Is like it? it's because I've spent a lot of time on jobs where 
we're working with English people who are playing American or Australians who are playing American, you know, things like, I feel that that is quite, um, I'm not surprised by that really anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I also love when you get to hang out in a green room and you go back to being your normal accent and shoot back and forth with each other and you kind of, the transformation that you get to watch your co-stars do is something I'm always in awe of. I love it. Yeah. There were quite a few. I mean, there was, it was, it was a kind of a mixture on set though as well because there were a few other actors and, you know, Clark and... And, and Jared, Jared who are Canadian, and, which and, is um, very American too, right? And then a lot of the crew as well were Americans. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we, there was a nice, it felt like a nice mixture on set even though we were shooting in, in the UK and a lot of English cast. And nice. It's kind of the Britishisms you can just slip back into. Yeah. Once it, yeah. Also, but that's sometimes interesting too with dialogue is that when you've had an English screenplay, right, because it also, you know, Kelly and Tom wrote this, so they are English. So sometimes you'll have a phrase that they'll be like, that actually sounds too English. We need to make that more American. or Because there are little things that are slightly different yeah. between America and England. Mm -hmm. That's true. And even between Ireland and England, like yeah. I say, oh, somebody was giving out to me, but that's telling off. Right. Do you guys know that? No, I didn't. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I think oh, we have time cool. for one more. It's obviously superhero action movie, so I can't walk out of here without asking you guys, how was the, without spoiling anything, like the stunts elements of it all, did you pick it up naturally? <laughs> My, Mine was so boring because I can't drive a car for real. So my main stunt training was how, learning how to drive my car. <laughs> I was like, for poor Jim, the amazing stunt coordinator. That was like, this is a really lame stunt for you. <laughs> this is reversing. <laughs> Just teaching me how to drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that though. Free driving lessons, I mean. <laughs> I still can't pass the test. It's no. so embarrassing. I don't know if he could technically call that a stunt. Though, it was right. actually. Is... <laughs> because when you have that many precious people and cargo and you know true. camera crew, it's like. That's true. That is actors true. Actors are. Absolutely. And I really, yeah. I mean, I And don't actually, it does, it does hit way. it quite at a, at, a, at a pretty. But you've got to be in the helicopter and you've got to be cool. The things. helicopter, yeah. And. Um, yeah, Were you in an actual stuff. helicopter? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah. It does look like yeah, I'm it. Does. It really does. does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think. Great, I have to wrap up. That was that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank um, you. Such a pleasure to meet you both. Enjoy your Halloween. Thank, Thank you. you.